Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipsticks. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. Wet n Wild recently released four new metallic liquid lipstick shades. Lipsticks do retail for $4.99 each, but I picked up mine at CVS where they were having a buy one get one 50% off sale, so I picked up four shades. All four of these shades are new shades, so I'm not sure why it was buy one get one half off, but I'm glad I picked up all four. Let's get into the swatches. The first shade is called Satin Sheets. So let's see what Satin Sheets does look like. And it does come with a doe foot applicator, so let's swatch it. Here's the shade Satin Sheets, and I love how iridescent this shade is. This shade is like an orange mixed with a rose gold. Let's see what this looks like on the lips. too sheer for me on my lips. I do like something with a little bit more pigment to it. I do like how this lipstick does reflect. I felt this lipstick dry down very quickly. If you are on the go person like I am, you don't want to mess and fuss with applying lipstick, waiting for it to set. This does have like a weird like chemical scent to it. I'm not sure if it's paint. It just smells really bad. When the metallic lipstick does set, you don't smell that fragrance anymore. The shade in Satin Sheets is a little bit too light for my liking, so let's try on the next shade. The next shade is called Ride on My Copper, and it's this coppery shade. This is the shade Ride on My Copper. I love this shade. I do like the doe foot applicator, and I do like how the applicator does hug your lips, so that way you can apply the lipstick evenly. This shade, right on my copper, is beautiful. It complements my skin complexion very nicely. I love how these dry down very quickly. I felt this metallic lipstick set. I love how this is metallic. It does dry down quickly. Some metallic liquid lipsticks take a little bit. The next shade is called Bali in Love, and it's this pinky shade. And here's what the shade Bali in Love does look like. fan of this shade in Bali in Love. It is a bit sheer for my liking, as well as this shade right here, Satin Sheets. These two shades were a little bit too light. They didn't have much pigment to it. I feel like I can use these as a lip topper underneath my matte liquid lipsticks if I want. So that's definitely an option. But I don't like the shade Bali in Love. I feel like it is a little bit too light for my liking. Last shade is called I Don't Desert You, and this is a dark burgundy shade. This is the shade I Don't Desert You. I already love the burgundy shade. It complements my skin tone very nicely. It's pigmented and it dried down completely matte. I love the formula of all of them. I love how all of them dry matte completely. I just don't like the smell. All four of these do have that paint smell to it, just like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation does. I do smell it as I am applying it to my lips, but then after it sets, after it dries up really quickly, I don't smell that fragrance anymore. I love the doe foot applicator on these. Two of the lighter shades were not my favorite. They were a little bit too sheer for my liking. I love the burgundy shade I Don't Desert You and the copper shade. While I was at CVS, Wet n Wild was having a buy one get one 50% off on their Photo Focus Foundation, so I did pick up two of them. But what I did realize is that the price did go up on these. These used to be, I think, $5. Now for one, it's $6 and change. I didn't realize that Wet n Wild did hike up the price on this particular foundation because this is my favorite. I just happened to run out when they were having the buy one get one 50% off and then I just saw the metallic liquid lipsticks. So I was like, why not? They're new, but why are they 50% off? Maybe nobody likes them, I'm not too sure. But I can definitely see why. Um, these are a little bit too sheer and these are pigmented, they're good, but I guess nobody really knows about them. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.